Actually, I'm legally blind. I'm sorry, I had no idea. How on earth could you have had? Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. May we please eliminate that word from our vocabulary? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to... Deal with being blind? Yeah. Um, I can't answer that in days or weeks. Uh, even if I could, it wouldn't mean anything. Every case is different. <laughs> Why don't we knock off for now and get some lunch? Okay. Wait, wait. Door? Uh, door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> How was that, coach? One gold star. <laughs> These were probably the hardest steps I've ever taken. Except for my first ones, which I don't remember. <laughs> it's a good analogy. Almost the same thing. You're trying something really hard for the first time. You'll fall down a lot, but it doesn't mean you aren't going to get it in the end. Are you still sorry you're here? I'd rather be with... No. No, I'm not sorry. It's the only thing I could do. Okay. Let's get some lunch. Okay. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm going to the hospital. No, yeah, don't worry. I'm getting out of here. Well, you can stick around as long as you don't tear off the teddy bear's head. What are, you, what are you saying that for? So you're showing me that you trust me in your house? No, I don't give a damn. Look, you know what? I'm sorry I can't help you. I really am. You can't help me. Give me your number. I can't do it. Sorry. Because I'm a cold-blooded attorney, means I'm not supposed to cook? Cook, maybe, but bake bread to relax. I get a rise out of yeast. <laughs> See? Laughing is better than crying. Much. Especially over a man who doesn't deserve you. And which man does? You want names and addresses? You have any? Beth, you're a beautiful woman. You have a lot to give. That actually sounded half sincere. It was. Thank you. You're welcome. And you still maintain that you are an unfeeling cynic. Unfeeling and cynical are two of my finer qualities. What does she see in him? I don't know. He's nothing like Philip. So what are we going to do, River? All I know about men like that is that they always tend to underestimate women. <laughs> so? 
So that's how we drive him out of town. That's your dress book by any chance? Yeah. May I see it? What are you gonna do? You'll see. Do you like slumber parties? <laughs> Harley, stop worrying about Beth. She's not going to come between us. You're right. Not anymore. That was a goodbye kiss. What? Philip, I am getting off this roller coaster before I am thrown oh, off. Come on, Listen to me, I'm not doing this because I'm angry. I'm really not. But you know, I've hung out at the party too long before and I don't I don't want to get dumped again. Well, I'm not gonna do that. How could you even say that? I'm to gonna me? go home. And I don't want to see you, and I don't want to hear from you until you resolve your feelings for your ex-wife. There's nothing to resolve. Philip, no matter how much you deny it, you're not really over her. I gotta go. This has been Guiding Light, 